Today we compare white cleaning vinegar and drain cleaner. These are some coupons of quarter inch angle that I cut. There was enough that I could get several of these to do several tests. Cut them all with a chop saw, big friction blade on it. Now these side views are just right after I had put them in. You see a little bit of the colors reflected. Um, these are cheap Tupperwares I bought from Dollar Tree, two for a dollar twenty-five or whatever. Anyways, so I figured they'd be clean and sterile. And uh, here's I'm gonna put the timestamp down. So I thought it was important that we knew about how long these things had been in there. Looks like they were put in at 2.32 p.m. And again, that's white cleaning vinegar versus the drain cleaner. Doing just a, a basic check, kind of see the drain cleaner is a little bit discolored here. We don't want those on too tight. I want them to be able to breathe. The vinegar is bubbling, but I don't know that it's discolored. It may be that there's just something with the iron that makes the drain cleaner look kind of nasty. And it was 2.30 when we put them in. And it is 3.30. So an hour in, that's where we're at. We're doing our next check. Still a little fairly dark. I mean, I can definitely tell. That's a little darker. There's a shop cat in the background. At this point, it's hard to tell. Uh, the drain cleaner looks like it might be doing better, but uh, it's hard to tell. There's there's some surface just gunk on there but we're, we're seeing what the rust does so it's 648 so it's been in about four hours yep. have a little puddle around the vinegar. I'm assuming that some sort of chemical reaction has taken place. It's 9.30 in the morning. These things have been in there for a minute now. Should be pretty much ready as far as that's going to go. I'm, I'm guessing that that puddle is where uh, vinegar kind of bubbled up to the top and, and dripped off that loose lid. I have no good way of knowing for sure, but uh, it's some film, some moisture, feels kind of slimy, so I think it, it did something, anyhow. Some more moisture, it didn't really look as milky, so I didn't spend very much time with it. Now let's see, got some 
It doesn't look amazing, but I haven't agitated it any. There's quite a bit of, of crap coming off the vinegar. I didn't want to use sandpaper or really a rough rag or anything, because I had some people say, well, in your last video that you did on this kind of thing, at short, you, you clearly wiped one more than the other, which uh, I was trying for like a spray-on technique, so wiping one more than the other didn't do anything, but vinegar really, I mean, that's a lot of stuff that's down in there, and as I said, there's some crud on there that's just not really going to come off with this kind of light deal. Um, we're going to check the drain cleaner next, and then we'll agitate each one just a little bit more after that. We, again, we don't want to... It's real easy to sand rust off. Easy to wire wheel it off. It's easy to take a coarse rag while it's wet and, and kind of knock some of it off. But we're not looking for that. We're looking to see what chemical does the most damage to the rust. Knowing what chemical does the most damage to the rust is important because that'll save me some steps later on. I think they maybe the vinegar got just a touch more thumb action there, but not much. Now, don't pay too much attention to the shiny edges. I, I just cut them earlier that day. The shop cat in here. These are our coupons. And that's what was left. I, I, the drain cleaner doesn't seem like it took as much off, but it definitely discolored more. But see them big flecks there? That's just straight up rust, and it, it really didn't touch those. The vinegar, however, I see some bare metal poking through there. And for no more than we've done, I mean, look, look at that bare metal. Look, that's still just slothing off there. I bet you a trip with a power washer would do a lot of good. Or maybe even just a real light scouring. But I really feel like the vinegar loosened up a lot of rust. I mean, you can, you can just see it coming off there. There's, I mean, there's bare metal right there on that top portion where it's getting kind of shiny. And I, I really haven't, I mean, if you figure that rubbing with a, a soft rubber glove is, uh, I mean, that's just, that's nothing. It's just on there. It's not even stuck. You can see the bare shiny metal on top of it. On that top piece, I'm I'm fairly impressed with that. Again, we we've got a lot of chemicals to try here, but see, just a little bit more. See what this does with the drain cleaner here. I don't really see much. Not really anything coming off there at all. I mean, the vinegar was foaming up around my finger with rust. This is kind of not. Not, not real impressed with that. I know it's got some acids and stuff in it, but it just really didn't seem to do much. I think I think the vinegar is the clear winner here. You can see that bare metal on top and large pieces of rust. Those big flecks are all gone on the vinegar, pretty much. Um, I think it's our. That's our clear winner, folks. White cleaning vinegar for the win over the drain cleaner. It'd be pretty good stuff. stuff. And uh, that, not so much. It got dark, but it didn't really do much. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe because we're going to do several more of these tests. Go from there. Appreciate your time. Thank you.